Hey, I'm at Bright Star Care and I'm meeting with Alex Brown and Deborah Parker and I'll have them introduce themselves. But we're going to talk about care options for families that may be in transition. Now specifically, we're not going to talk a great deal about having to take care of an elderly parent unless of course it turns out that in the re as a result of a divorce or some kind of a separation or things like that or some change in the family, what used to work where everybody was under the same roof now can no longer work because the husband and wife, the mother and father, or the children have separated. So with that in mind, first of all, I'll turn to you, Alex, and tell us a little bit about what Bright Star does. Yep. So uh, Bright Star Care, we're a, a private duty home care agency. So we come into people's homes and take care, whether it's kids through seniors, oh. um, any kind of needs they have. And it could range from just basic meal prep and doing laundry and, and housekeeping, all the way up through uh, you know advanced medical care, wound care, um, providing uh, injections and infusions and uh, those types of things. So depending on if somebody needs a an RN coming in or or just a, someone to to provide companionship, we. We provide that end to end. And that's interesting because when we called um, Alex, we were kind of surprised to learn that such a service exists. And we figured that those of you watching might be surprised and relieved to know this is the same. So again, this is not merely for people that are bedridden. This is not for people that might uh, need special care. They can simply be, it's kind of like just someone that comes in and as you said, can prepare a meal, provide some companionship. In a sense, it's like in-home daycare or even kind of babysitting, for lack of a better term, depending upon if you've got little kids involved. Is that right? But then I also know that in talking to you, Deborah, that you said that, because uh, I was mentioning some of the options or some of the things that uh, families in transition might face, and I said, well, sometimes you've got the whole family living together where there's a special needs child, and that's demanding enough as it is, but the family makes it work because they're all living under the same roof. So mom and dad can both go to their respective jobs or one can say, I'll go to work while you take the kids to school back and forth. But then when there's a divorce, suddenly that dynamic changes to the point where it's not doable anymore. So do you ever work with special needs children? Right, we work with them fairly often. I'm going to see someone this weekend for this very situation where the parents have separated and now their child needs some extra help and that's what we're there for. We're there to set up the care and we can be there for as little as a couple hours a day all the way up to 24-7 care. See, and that's what's so great about this is because some of you that are contemplating a divorce or separation might say, well, the situation's untenable, but if I leave or if something changes, that's going to reflect poorly on me. I'm going to look like a bad parent. I'm going to look like someone who's irresponsible or self-centered when in fact that's not the case. You're just trying to make the best of a bad situation help will be needed. Now, we all know that there are times when, through no fault of your own, and even if the family remains intact, somebody gets hurt, somebody needs some extended care, it's expensive, you don't want to leave them in a facility or you can't afford to do that, and so we know that hospice care, that people in those situations have done similar things where they want to be at home, and the family wants to be as involved as possible. This is another situation then where families that are going through a divorce can still take care of themselves and their loved ones as much as possible, getting the help they need where they want it. Is that correct? That's right, and uh, I'll just add to that. I mean, it doesn't have to mean everybody's living in the same home. We've had families that have had parents and grandparents living in assisted living facilities, independent living facilities, where they go in to, to take care. They may go in a couple times a week to take care of mom or dad or you know, make sure things are, are going well and a, a divorce may distract from that. So we, we go into facilities like that all the time, not just people's homes, uh, to, to take care of people as well. That's fantastic. Tell us a little bit about, I mean, is there a certain minimum commitment as to how much time and how much care you need to pay for or something like that? Or, you know, do you have to have a regular schedule? How does that work? Either one of you are welcome to I'll, feel I'll, that. I'll add, can add to it, Deborah, but we, we have no minimums at, at Bright Star Care. So if, if you just want one hour a week, um, we'll do that, or one hour a month, it, it doesn't matter. Fantastic. What we'll do is, is Deborah will actually go, go into the home and put together an individualized plan of care. So depending on what the needs are, we'll, we'll scope our services around that, whether it's you know, a, a very brief visit, not, not so often, or 24-7 or care. And we also have guaranteed compatibility. So our people that come in to, to uh, take care of your children or your parents or your grandparents, 
um, have to be compatible. So if, if there's any hesitation or, or concerns around the, the people we have providing care, we'll, we'll bring new people. Even on. if it might be irrational or doesn't seem to make any sense, yeah. the point is they need to feel comfortable with it or it's not going to be much good. Absolutely. They're not going to have a lot of confidence in the service. That's great. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk about this. And before we go, would you be so kind as to give the people watching your contact information so that those who may want to use your services can know where to find you? Sure. All right. So our phone number is 801-559-3999. Do you have a website? We do. Okay. Brightstarcare.com. Okay. And where are you located? Where are we actually making this from? We're, our office is here in, in the Murray area, but mm -hmm. we provide services across the, the Salt Lake Valley. Can people come to your facility here for certain services or things like that? Do you ever need them to come here? This is our office is here, mm -hmm. and sometimes people come here to set up care, but most of the care is done in the home. Okay. Thanks again. I appreciate the time you've taken with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There are a few things to keep in mind when shopping for a home care agency. At Bright Star Care, we offer differentiators which are very important to keep in mind. The first is our hiring practices. All of our employees have to have at least one year of experience in the home. All of our employees are background checked, drug tested, and competency to make sure that they can perform the task that they will be charged with. The second is our director of nursing. She's our secret weapon and she meets with every family to create a specialized plan of care. The third is that we're joint commission accredited which means we provide a higher standard of care. There's a lot of home care agencies out there, so make sure when you choose one, you choose the best.